today I'm going to be showing you the very best way to organize a deep freezer. Actually, I'm just kidding. I do not know what the best way to organize a deep freezer is. I have struggled with trying to organize it so we can get to everything. And last year we put a bunch of stuff in here and I used big crates and that didn't work either because the, one, the crates are so heavy, you can't really, you know, it takes a lot to pick them up to get to everything on the bottom, but also the crates didn't fit in here very well. This freezer is full, but it's really not. It's just the big bulky crate crates. And so today I decided I'm just gonna go through here, pull everything out and reorganize this. So this freezer here is holding our elk meat, deer meat, uh, pork, wild turkey, vegetables from the garden, and then a few store-bought things like cheeses and dairy, butter, uh, some popsicles for the kids and things like that. Now this isn't our only storage of meat. We also have canned meat and we do a lot of canned meat. I think last year we ended up doing a whole deer in canned meat and then a couple of our smaller pigs. And so between, between the canned meat and the meat in this freezer, it does last us a good year. Now we do have a lot left in here because we were in Florida for the winter and that did not get ate. But between now and when hunting season gets round again, we will eat a lot of this meat. If you're doing this, don't forget your gloves. This is going to be super cold and I hate for my hands to be cold. These gloves here are phenomenal and they're really inexpensive. These are the gloves Clay had when he was on a loan and we use these a lot. Absolutely no cold gets to your hand whatsoever. The, fish, the fishermen in Alaska, this is the type of gloves they use when they're processing fish. So we're going to go ahead and get these on and get busy in here. Right, so I've got a bunch of these. I think I bought 10 of these. And so I'm just gonna stick these out onto the ground here, I think, and then just start putting certain things in these baskets. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. And so this is all of our pork fat from pigs last year. We're saving this to make um, deer sausage with. boudin last year and it did not turn out that great it just doesn't have enough flavor to it so I'm just gonna keep that and use that for like soups stews and stuff like that we did a bunch of sausage last year and it's been really really nice we've ate a lot of sausage and so we definitely want to do some more sausage when we do our um, pigs this year So this is sausage here, this um, leg seasoning of the jalapeno. This is one of the things that was buried in the bottom that I could not find. Don't want to help. Hi guys. No 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 you're doing. Got a bunch of pork bones down here for seasoning stuff. So I can tell this piece of meat here was wrapped and wrote on by Clay because of his spelling. Clay is good at many, 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 many things, but spelling is not one of them. And I don't remember what this is. I think this is beef. I think this is tallow here. I'm not sure. I think we got this to make um, pemmican with. I think that's what that is. And then big pieces of meat we have. Some ham. And this is buffalo um, fat. Another ham. And ribs. 
then some jalapeno poppers and some goat mozzarella cheese that I made. Rattlesnake skin is still in here. And then some stuff that I made from the garden last year. Pesto, pumpkin, more pesto. And the kids, and then the kids stash of Otter Pops. Oh, that's a heavy one. Burger. Side by side, that would be perfect if it does. Oh, look at that. Those fit perfect in there. That's really very good. I like it. not help any at all. It's really full. I don't know how we're going to get um, two pigs in here. I don't really know what to do. But it is better. Um, you've got things I can just move the tubs around. Ugh. I have like a move the tubs around in here and just get to what's under them pretty quickly. That's going to be our dinner for tomorrow night. That is done, but I need to come out here now and do inventory and see what all we have left. Just got this whole thing organized. It's still pretty full. We're getting ready to butcher a couple pigs, and so I want to know, once we butcher those pigs, how we're going to process the meat. I do know that we need um, sausage. We eat a lot of sausage, and I really like to have homemade stuff, so we're not buying store-bought meat. Okay, so that's not all the meat we have left. Um, that was just the meat in our freezer. We still have a bunch of canned meat. Let's find out where they're at. Oh, yeah, right down here. All this is canned meat, and there's canned meat all in the back here as well. And we potentially could do some pork in um, jars. This is actually um, canned pork. And I did some in Florida and I have a video on that about smoking the pork and canning it. It's really, really good. And so we could take a full pig and just um, smoke it and then put in jars. That'd be yummy, actually. All right, so there you go. Quick little peek into what in the heck we have in our freezer. A little bit of organization. I don't know if it helped you any. It, um, I think it's going to work pretty good. Next step is to butcher pigs and start filling the freezers back up. And we'll see you in the next video.